Playoffs, playoffs, turn up, playoffs. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Really, Mike? Yeah. All right, I don't like the position you guys have put me in, okay? What position because would that be? I'll tell you in a second right. what the position is. Okay. Simply because I'm being reasonable, simply because I'm being rational, mm -hmm. I have now been put in the position where I am anti Hassan Whiteside. You are. I'm not. Yes, that's, you are. That's absolutely not true, and your crazy, hope soaked. Screaming and yelling about how he's Will Chamberlain. You've now put me in the position where he has the 23 and 16 game against the Clippers. I'm happy. I'm stunned. Right. And you guys have put me in a position where I sound like I'm anti Hassan Whiteside by merely saying it'll be nice if he can give them a contribution. You guys are turning him into a max player. I guess I'll buy the fact that you're happy, but stunned. I mean, have you not watched the guy the last couple of weeks? That was the least shocking thing I saw anywhere in sports yesterday. This guy is legit, man. You still don't want to give him any credit. Yeah, we're the ones turning him into a max player, not himself with his efforts. He was incredible yesterday. All right, yeah. let me let me turn this another way here, okay? Because here here's my thinking process on this. And keep in mind, I am not anti Hassan Whiteside. Uh. Just I'm because not. you keep saying it doesn't yeah. make, make it so All right. debatable. <laughs> Definitely debatable. Right. <laughs> you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's my thinking process on this so that you guys can absorb it. and Listen to me carefully on this because I don't want to be the anti-hope guy, and I am not the anti-hope guy. I root to see the unprecedented, but I bet against things being unprecedented. If this guy is what you saw yesterday, mm -hmm. there would be no precedent in the history of American basketball, a seven footer falling out of the sky and being 23 and 16 when no one expected him to be 23 and 16. Mm -hmm. There would be no such creature in the history of sports. Right. So I ask you now. Doesn't mean it can't happen, by the way. I'm yeah. not saying it can't happen. It's the first it just, time for it, everything, It just Jim. would not have a precedent. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds like he's agreeing with us because we've been over here saying he's an unprecedented talent. Right. A generational big. That's what's so amazing right. about Can it. Can you guys yeah. answer this question seriously? Because I know what you guys are going to do all day today. You guys are going to just sit here and make him Wilt Chamberlain, and you're going to predict that he's going to be Wilt Chamberlain. So let me just ask you a question. If I tell you right now, right now, yeah. guys, Hassan Whiteside is going to be DeAndre Jordan. Mm -hmm. Do you take it? Uh, DeAndre wow. Jordan's not very good. Yeah, really? not, really? not did you see what DeAndre did certain, yesterday yeah. against Hassan? Were you not yeah. watching yesterday? Yeah. He did I mean, erase uh, erased DeAndre him, Jordan. Right. Yeah, no. He erased DeAndre Jordan. He erased Blake Griffin. He's the eraser. I, I'm not certain. I don't think I take that exchange. All right. Charles Barkley says of DeAndre Jordan that if you left him in a gym by himself at night and didn't allow him to dunk and you came back in the morning, he would have eight points. <laughs> which is just it's a great line so he's a limited player offensively i would take that right now if you told me that whiteside would be a serviceable seven footer right. who would be a defensive anchor for your team i would absolutely take that right now what do you guys so you think, want him to be worse what do you guys yeah. think he is what, what do I think he is? I think he's an all-star, yeah, Dan. Have you yeah, not been watching? Have you know, I think you he's think an MVP candidate. Insanity, yeah, you yeah. think this is Lynn Sanity, don't you? I don't think it's Lynn Sanity. I think there's a reason that everyone has passed on him, and he's played in Li you know, Lithuania and China. And you know what he's doing now? He's making them pay. Yes. yes. All of them. One he's by making one. them pay. One yep. by one. He's taking them out. That's one right. by one. Yep. Yes. Doc Rivers, you were first, Mike. Yes. Yep. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Yes. To hey. Hassan be the glory. Yes. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Riley be with you. Yes. I was all with you. To Hassan be the glory. Amen. Riley be with you. I was all with you. To Hassan be the glory. Amen. Amen. Riley be with you. I was all with you. So Hassanity is what you want? Hassanity? <laughs> yep, Hassanity. Hassanity. And it's no longer Hassanity. upside. Yeah, it's no longer it's no longer upside. He's arrived. I mean, there is no Hassanity. more upside. Yeah, he's here. Hassanity. Okay, so you guys are going to... So he's not Ike Austin. Oh, Ike Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Ike Austin. Ike Austin. <laughs> that, guy, that guy wakes up, rolls out of bed, and takes a big Ike Austin in his toilet. Yep, is, Ike Tiger? Austin. Ike Austin. I'm thinking third best center in Heat history at this point, right? Zo, Shaq, then him, and he's closing in on Shaq, correct? Yeah, he, yeah he's got yeah, a, right yeah, yeah, he's right, right there. there. He's right there. Right, right there. there. Certainly right there. better defensively. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I knew 
a simple soldier boy who grinned at life in empty joy, slept soundly through the lonesome dark and whistled early with the lark. In winter trenches, cowed and glum with crumbs and lice and lack of rum, he put a bullet through his brain. No one spoke of him again. You smug-faced cowards with kindling eye who cheer when soldier lads march by. Sneak home and pray you'll never know the hell where youth and laughter go. Oh, Mike, what are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I've... <laughs> I'm consumed by sadness and the very harsh realization that maybe I was a little bit wrong about this Miami Heat team. Maybe I invested a little bit too much, a smidge too much. Was that a poem? In culture. Because good players are important <laughs> in the game of basketball. Yeah, there's right? that. Yeah. But also... So it was not calling push-offs. Refs were clearly cheating this series. I think oh we all God. know it. I think we all know it. Uh, yeah, moving screens. And even though the Sixers advanced, they clearly know who the better team is through one <laughs> half of basketball. Yes. <laughs> through the first half, the first of, half of basketball. <laughs> Take that with Heat are better. They know yeah. de pretty definitively. The sample speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. The Miami Heat are better. It's that whole second half that's the issue. They're lucky. Yeah. They're lucky. They don't have to play us again. Oh, oh yeah. Because, oh, yeah. I, I, I mean... Spo was going to figure it out. Yeah. Spo gives Spo so close. Spo Spo you give Spo, Spo 12 Give him, games, 13 yeah. games, he'll, he'll, he'll figure it out. Oh, he'll figure it out. Yeah. I know it was tied at halftime. But they were right there on the road in a road playoff game tied oh, yeah. at halftime. Oh, it, was right the, there. it was the rare... That was Mike's <laughs> argument yesterday. They've been winning first half. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was the rare halftime tie that felt like a 20-point deficit. Yeah, yeah. Damn yeah. Third yeah. That, that third quarter, <laughs> you knew... Was why wasn't it obvious to Spolstra yeah. that starting lineup hasn't had anything this entire series? He, he played them the entire time, and to start that third quarter, they get two quick baskets, and you know from the shot selection and nobody moving, that lineup should not be out there. I kind of feel like we would have won this series had we never put out those five people together. How, how about this? If not for Spo. Is how about this? Yes, if not for Spo. Yeah. How about this? After the game, not surprisingly, the minute they lose, Hassan Whiteside takes off his mask and starts complaining again. Like he's been wearing a mask for five games, this mask that conceals his true feelings and lies. Oh, that guy. That, <laughs> Hassan Whiteside, you listen to me. You listen good. Because this is the last time I will speak your name. Okay, you listen good. Wow, we. This is the last time I will speak your name. Very last, last time. time. Last time. That's he it. who shall not be named okay. henceforth. Is that really? Should okay. we change? Wait a minute. What should Hassan Whiteside's new name be? He is there anything who shall not be named? I know. <laughs> henceforth, he who shall not be named. That's a bit wordy. Man. <laughs> it is. He who shall not be named. We've run the gamut. Dark side. We've run the gamut. He who shall not be named. Uh huh. Dan never believed in you. No. I thought you were a freak. And I was both right and wrong so about was I. you. DeAndre so was I. I uh, was, more right than wrong, though, Mike, Mike. how is it possible that on Hassan Whiteside, everyone's been wrong? Riley, Arison, Spolstra. And you, everyone's been right? Me, I mean, everyone's been right not, as well. I was calling he who should not be named a generational big when he was playing seven minutes a game. That person got a max contract, and yet I'm wrong. Right, right. And I, I would have traded him... I would have traded him for Roy Hibbert, and yet I'm wrong. Yeah. Yep. This, this person, who shall not be named, this person who shall not be named, what an insult to the people who buoyed you, who rescued your career, who gave you koi fish. You live in a home with koi fish. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Those koi fish are, are courtesy of... Eric Spolster and Pat Riley. Also his only friends today. Only friends. Only friends. Put it on the poll, Guillermo. Our koi fish, uh, Whiteside's <laughs> only friends today. <laughs> and SpongeBob and Nick Tunes. Yeah, yeah. He's fine. Uh, he's out of here. What? Uh, pennies on the dollar. Get him out. <laughs> oh, wow. Flip him for a second round pick. I know salaries have to match up. I don't care how you get it done. Get it done. I don't care how you get it done. Wow. Whoa. Get it done. <laughs> 
Whoa! A stupid face! The stupid face with a oh, stupid koi fish. Oh, this is escalated. The stupid koi fish with a stupid face. Bum. Okay. Well, let me tell you. Some, you shall not be named. Henceforth. Bum. Bum. I said it. Said it. That's it. Try and prove me wrong. Try and prove me wrong. T- tell me he's not a bum. Tell me he's not a bum. I mean, really koi fish are very expensive, and they smell like poop. Well, yeah, they, they smell like poop. They do. And yeah. speaking of poop, that was your game. That was your game all series long. How weird is it that I actually felt most in control when that alien Joel Embiid was in the in, in the in the game for throughout the series? I was like, I can handle this. Simmons and Embiid, we got this. We'll muddy it up. And Ursan Ilyasova is the person that I'm most terrified of. He shoves everybody every time he goes up for a rebound. It's incredible. He's allowed to do it. The, uh, but the I'm, rules are different for Ilyasova. You, you understand. You understand. Star, star power. Star, star power. power. Yeah. He's going to get all the calls. You know he's going to get his. You know he's going to get his. So I guess you just have to take that one on the chin. Goran Dragic, where were you? Is the knee tendonitis that bad? I know where you were. You were locked down in the Covington Penitentiary. That Covington. Unbelievable defender. Not enough being said about 3 and D Covington. That guy's incredible. Yes, he is. That guy's incredible. McConnell, woof. You're annoying. Don't like you at all. I'm glad I didn't see you much. Fultz, don't like him. That guy's a bust. Anyways, is JJ McConnell, Reddick, respect. Is McConnell the only guy who's like the vestiges of all their losing? Where he was there, he's the he's been the, there the whole time. Right? He's Covington. the reason nine wins that he get. They get nine wins a season, and now he just gets to be along for the ride. I think Covington's been there as well. Yeah, I mean, those two guys. Yeah, Covington yeah. looks like he wears those years. <laughs> he he is that guy is yeah. a tough dude. He's lit, incre- man. An incredible defender. Yeah. Guy's Guillermo, really put it good. on the poll. Does playing intense uh, defense make you age faster than the rest of humans? Hey, it's JJ Reddick. How does he? How do? How do you run so much? Oh, how, right? how can you? How can you run? I get tired yeah, watching you. How much are the koi fish? Three thousand dollars. I'm each eight thousand dollars. I found an eighty thousand dollar koi. This is just ridiculous. You, he's probably paying eighty thousand dollars. You know for, he is. Uh, for yes, a koi you know, fish. you know, there's people in Hialeah selling koi fish for like fifty bucks, right? <laughs> I bet you it's just goldfish, and they're telling him it's koi fish. That's what koi fish are. Just monster goldfish, right? There's no difference, is there? Like, if your goldfish lives long enough, does it not become a koi fish? Yeah, it has to. It's a fish that he puts in the water, and all the paint comes off, and he doesn't notice. <laughs> He right. shall not be named. I love the idea of, <laughs> of Hassan wandering around Hialeah trying to buy koi fish. Some guy sells them for fifty dollars. He's like, "Nope, I want the eighty thousand dollar one." <laughs> All right, I got that in the back. I'll be right back. I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> hold on a second. I'll be back with the I'll same get, one. <laughs> and Tyler Johnson, Tyler Johnson, gutsy performance, yeah. personified culture yeah. yesterday. Yep. I mean, he's wearing. A splint between his his thumb and his index finger on his shooting. How hand. do you feel about this though? The fact that he has nineteen million dollars coming his way. Well, next this is what I'm going to read. The stat that was circulating yesterday from a lot of people. I've got it here from at Zach Blatt. The Heat owe Hassan Whiteside, Tyler Johnson, and James Johnson a combined fifty eight million dollars next season. The Sixers. I don't need to tell you. In the same conference with young people that just showed you they're better, they're coming, and they're going to be relevant if they're healthy for the next ten years. The Sixers will owe Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, and Robert Covington a combined forty-five point four. I told you, Riley failed this city, man. So you were right and wrong. You were you were right in you were right. Uh, Today and only today. Yes. Because everyone's mad at Hassan and his max contract. (laughs) And you've been wrong for seven years, but you too have been right and wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll take the, uh, the one day of being right for the seven years of being wrong, man. It's a good year for Koi. Price has gone down. If you're a buyer, good buyer's market for Koi this year. Really? (laughs) What's uh, the Koi market in Sacramento? Because that's where he who shall not be named will be shipped. (laughs) Henceforth. Henceforth. Two to four incher went from twenty five ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine wow. on this side of phone. This is great. Wow. What color koi? We should get a pet koi for the show, yes. right? Get the eighty thousand dollar one. I'm sure we'll take great care of it with much planning and care. Put it in the pool. <laughs> get one in Oklahoma City colors. How quickly would that thing die in this pool? Oh my pool? God! Two guys would snort it.